Okay, so good day everyone. So welcome back to another discussion in Methods of Tourism Research 1. So this is for the first lecture for midterms. Actually, this is the only lecture for midterms because um, apparently for this, uh, for the next four weeks or the next five weeks rather, you will be doing your RRLs. Okay, so for today's discussion, we are going to focus on review of related literature so like most of the students we will say that the rrl okay okay as me also as a researcher i find it as the most boring <laughs> it is the most uh, uh tasking okay and it is basically the most painful okay part of your research process why did i say so simply because when we talk about a uh, re review of related literatures it will require you to at least no at least read analyze Reread and analyze again. Okay, so it will require you a lot of time for you to gather your articles. And apart from gathering the articles, you are going to read it, you read the full text, analyze the content. If it's related, if it's not related, then scrap it. If it's related, keep it and then take note of the findings and the understanding of the paper and how it relates to your study that is why again this is a review of related literatures and related studies if it's not related on your paper then don't use it if it's related then use it but you have to review okay meaning magbabasa kayo at magbabasa okay so for this specific topic, we'll get to understand what RRL means and <clears throat> we're going to understand also how to do an RRL. And basically, this is a review because I know for a fact that you have undergone your practical research in senior high school and I'm expecting that my students already have an initial knowledge on how to conduct a review of related literature. So when we talk about literature review, it is basically a discussion of your knowledge about the topic under study. Again, it is a discussion of your knowledge. Okay? Even though this is basically from different studies or a collection of different studies done previously, it is still treated by you. Okay? Meaning to say, you are the ones who is going to write it the way you understand the sign the findings and the results of a former study okay An, a literature review is also a discussion of um, your knowledge that supported that is supported by a research literature so like what i have said supported meaning to say there is an existing study being done prior to your research meaning to say uh, if you have identified your research problems and your research gaps, then you have to support your research gaps by simply looking for the support, okay? From where? From literatures, okay? From research literature. So, this includes the different theses, okay? This includes the different dissertation. This includes the different journals okay okay journals etc etc okay and the last is the literature review is the foundation of the study okay why did we say so because again foundation supports the entire research paper so you cannot claim a, you cannot claim a certain fact if there are no supporting documents so like what i am always telling you when you're doing your defense 
what is your reference, ba? Diba? Pag sinabi ninyo lagi na, kasi po marami pong naghihirap na Pilipino. Question is, what is your reference? ba? Diba? Yes, we can see it by observation, but kailangan mo ng support. Okay, that is why literature review is the foundation for your study. The literature review is not a study by study or article by article description of studies previously done. This is the common mistake na ginagawa ng ating mga research students. No? Ang ginagawa nila, ikokulate lahat ng studies, pagsasamasamahin ang pare-pareho, tapos irerelate sa study lang. No? Study by study ang ginagawa. <clears throat> according to let's say according to Polycarpio bla 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 susunod ako susunod na paragraph according to uh, De Solo bla 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 according to Moralde 2020 yon so yun yung sinasabi ko hindi ganun po ang RRL okay kasi kung ang gagawin niyo po ay uh, collection lang ng na literatures hindi sa mawawala yung essence ng salitang review. Okay? Yung nga siya sinabing review, it is your approach, not the approach of your, of the writers that have already done their paper. Okay? So, an RRL is not a restatement of the studies previously done. When I say restatement, meaning to say na inaral na nga nila dati, isa-cite mo lang sila just for the mere fact that you need to cite something. But, hindi ganun siya. Okay? It's not a restatement. Okay? So, paano nagiging solid ang isang RRL? Siyempre, nire-relate mo siya. Okay? It's not a restatement, but it is creating relationship. Okay? Relationship of what? The relationship of your of the former study to the current study that you are doing. <clears throat> And a literature review is not a brief overview of the article. Okay? It's not a brief overview of any articles that you have collected, but rather it is, again, a review of the article. Meaning to say, hindi ka lang focus sa abstract ng isang research article, but rather you have to read the full text. Okay? Again, you have to read the full text. <clears throat> Sorry. So, in reviewing the literature, you have to simply start with searching for available literatures. So, where do you source it? Or where do you search? Napakadaming paraan. Diba? You have the different access. So, you have your Google Scholar. Okay. Google Scholar. I'm sorry. Google Scholar, you have Google Books, diba? you have other sources, other internet sources, sources, okay, meron kang books, yung mga libro, periodicals, marami yan, journals, okay, we also have e-journals and then mga thesis at dissertation okay so dyan kayo lahat magsa-search you have to look for different researches related to your study okay next you have to critically analyze each article that you select again critically analyze. When we say critically analyze, we apply critical thinking. How do we apply critical thinking? We should place criteria in reading a certain article. So, when we're reading an article, syempre, ikaw ang magsaset ng criteria mo. Okay? Napaka, napakahalaga na dapat sa critical analysis ng paper mo, mo, ng paper mo, syempre, sinasagot niya ang existing problem mo or na may mention niya doon ang certain variables ng study mo okay or pareho kayo ng ginagamit na methodology di ba on your study okay so yan or 
the results and findings are actually relevant to your study. Okay? So, yun po. <clears throat> Sorry. After such, we have to organize the review with an outline. So, ano tong outline na sinasabi natin? Meron na kayo nito. Nabigay ko na nung prelim. Ang tawag natin dyan ay literature matrix. Okay? So, you already have your literature matrix na format. Gagawin nyo lang po siya ulit para sa inyong RRLs. Now, for the RRLs, alam naman na natin ang requirement natin. Later on, we will discuss it further for the requirements for your review of related literatures. Okay? So, now you have to write your review. Okay? So, after you do your literature matrix, the next thing that you have to do is to write your review. When you write your review, make sure that, again, it doesn't include, okay, no emotions on writing the paper. It should be technical in nature. And there should be no bias. Okay? So, no emotions related on the study. Okay? Kung nafe-feel mo yung hypothesis mo ay gusto mong itama, wag mong pilitin yun. Okay? Kasi nga, kaya nga siya hypothesis, itetest natin siya. Okay? And then, it should be technical in nature. Okay? And at the same time, wala ka dapat papanigan. Next, we have to summarize our study. How do we summarize? We provide a synthesis. Okay? A synthesis is basically a collection of your findings towards the review of related literature. So, it's like a mini research. We are conducting a mini research inside a research simply by analyzing the contents of the, li of the literatures that are related to your study and providing a synthesis. The synthesis now should be again directly related to your problem, to your variables, to the method, and, syempre, to your possible results. Okay? So, dun sila dapat related. And, last is, using the literature, you present the rationale of your study. Okay? So, <clears throat> sa undergrad thesis, hindi na natin to ginagawa. Okay? This is basically for master's at saka sa mga nagdodoktor. Okay? Kasi sa amin, bago ka mag-propose ng title, dapat meron ka na munang RRL. Okay? Meron ka na munang RRL. So, hindi pwede na uh, wala kang proven ng mga studies na magsasupport dun sa research problem mo. But in our case, we have developed our studies first or our, our, our topic before we do the RRL. That is also correct. Wala namang mali doon. But it's basically a method being done for undergraduate researches. Okay? So, we'll take a few break for now and then afterwards we will continue with our discussion. Thank you very much.